I just want to present this as his mother passed in the fires. And they are here blessing us tonight and sharing, sharing their love. And we are here in community and we are you know, all healing. And you know, a lot of us have been doing all different kinds of work to support our family, our Ohana here on Island. And this is one way we can do it tonight. So thank you. Thank you to Reverend Kadar and Reverend Shelley. They are also here. And the temple and Cater is going to light his peace flame and bless, bless us with a song too. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
been safe traveling. We welcome spring tonight. We bring in new beginnings. Bring to us the air and the breath of God so we may breathe in healing blessings, love, protection, and the ability to learn and create in harmony and peace with the plan of the divine. We call upon the white dove of peace. to bring in peace as it flies freely in all nations of birth and rebirth and brings the winds of change. The breath of life, the place of enlightenment and illumination. Calling in a new day, a new cycle, opening our hearts. A place of being compassionate, loving, forgiving, harmonious. Tonight, bring to us a new inspirational vision and help us unlock the wisdom of our hearts, our minds, our body, and soul. Breathing the breath of Allah, the breath of life, we give thanks for the guardians of the East. of the setting sun, the emotional though, the place of reflections and introspections, the place of endings. There's not an 
not an ending of it, but a transition to a new beginning. Calling in the direction of hidden mysteries, energies of autumn's bountiful harvests. The evening star, the place of transformation and change. Again, I call to Archangel Gabriel with gratitude. Thank you. 
ask now for the blessings of the direction of the below. We turn our awareness to inner earth, to the spirit of the earth. May we recognize that the earth is a living, breathing, sentient being. Some call her Tara. Some call her Gaia. Some call her Pachamama. Some call her Turtle Island. Here in Hawaii name, we call her Haumea. Kele, great creatress of the earth. <laughs> call the land, the Aina, and her life force energy, the Mana. May we send our roots deep down into the heart of Mother Earth, calling forth her Mana, her wisdom to come streaming up in through our roots into our veins just as she runs through the veins of the tall trees which grow stronger with the purifying fires of time. May we too grow stronger through the purifying fires of our time. May we be deeply rooted and connected we know we are supported and guided in all good ways. May we feel that support and heed that guidance and tread lightly upon the earth, walking the path of beauty in right relations with all of our relations. Spirit keepers of our sacred center, call in the within. The principle of wholeness, the energy and spirit of the mysterious, the balance of sacred unity of our higher self and our infinite oneness. Call in the divine feminine, divine masculine, God, goddess, Isis, Osiris, Magdalene, and Christ, the yin, the yang. Tonight we welcome the gifts of balance and oneness and the connection of all things for all things you want. All things are interrelated. Call in the place of timelessness and transformation. The place of the void from which all things are born and to whom all things return. Spirit keepers of the within, we welcome your presence on this magical, mystical winter solstice, for we are blessed by the heavens, blessed by the, the gods, the goddesses, the angels of Hawaii. We are so grateful. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this magical, mystical day. With that, the directions are called. The circle is cast. We are now in safe space. 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 Into the space, we do invite up Reverend Kedar to you know, into space and set the energy of this world peacefully. Perhaps a prayer, Lord's Prayer. Recite the Lord's Prayer in the ancient tongue of Ave. Avundavashmaya Nika Gadasha Shamak Te Te Malkuta Nekwe Sigana Akana Davashmaya Allah Lakman Shankana Naman Bosh Boklan Kobain Akana Dafkana Kaibain 
Thou, the breathing life of all, creator of the shimmering sound that touches us. We hear you breathing in and out in silence. Name of names, our small identity unravels in you. You give it back as a lesson. Wordless action, silent potency, where ears and eyes awaken. There, heaven comes, O birth, father, mother of the cosmos. Peace prevail on earth. May peace prevail on earth. May peace prevail on earth. It is. This is the anniversary of the lighting of the peace flame, of the Millennium Peace Flame, of Maui's Peace Flame. You can see here that our peace flame is a very small flame. And hopefully this flame will take her right for, for, for her rightful position here. And burn beautifully tonight for us. It was back in 1999, on the winter solstice, that some of our wonderful Kahu friends, they told us that they heard about somebody who had a vision of a temple of peace. And they showed up at my door and they said, we figured it must be you. And here we are, the temple of peace. So it's true. They said, um, we want to give you a blessing. And we want you to be the kahu of the Millennium Peace Flame and keep it at the Temple of Peace. And so on that day, we went to Kukui Puka, 
Ju Ono Kukui Puka, and Leo Hu, writer, and Kahu Megin. They perform the ceremony where we lit the police flame. And it, it lit a bit bigger than the sliding right this moment. <laughs> We're going to get there. And it was, they said, I said, can we invite some people? And they said, yes, invite the whole family, the Maui family. And we were waiting at the gate at sunrise. The, but for some reason, the gate was shut. And I said to Leo, who should we, should we tell the ranger that, that uh, the gate's locked and we want to go up to the heiau? She said, no, there's something standing between us and peace. And for this, we must be very patient. We must be, she said, be patient. And so we were patient. <laughs> Which is a virtue. We're still patient. And So, as we, then, then we get there, the, uh, the ranger came down and opened the gate. And by this time, the sun had already risen. It was supposed to be at sunrise. So we all, everybody was talking, 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 talking. And so we all went up to the hill in silence. And... <coughs> Leo who greeted us as we all went to Kukui Puka and we surrounded Kukui Puka and um, we all stood there in a big circle and Leo who started it was quite cloudy and Leo, who she said, she, she was doing her, the, the tea leaves, and parting the clouds. She was parting the clouds. And as we all stood there, Clouds, the clouds par uh, parted over Haleakala and a beam of light came forth from Haleakala and went <laughs> and lit up the entire hair. And at that time, uh, our kupuna, Mahi Mahi Poi Poi, she, um, I was standing at the at the edge of the of the hail, and she said, and I had, and she said, put your hands on this this bowl here, this bowl of light, and then she started binding my hands with tea leaf lays. I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm binding you to peace. And I said, well, if I'm going to be bound to something, I might as well be bound to peace. <laughs> and so, um, at that time, she said, you are the keeper of the Millennium Peace Flame, and it shall remain lit at the Temple of Peace. And I said, can I have a blessing, a special blessing for you? She said, yes, 
They said, when the peace plane goes out, can it ignite in my heart? She said, yes. This blessing is upon all people. The peace flame is shining in our hearts. So, as you can see, she eventually lit. <laughs> and we good? Yeah. <laughs> you got a song for us? A song. Yes. Okay. I think that should stay lit. It'll be lit in your heart, if not. That's right. In all of our hearts. I'm so grateful that our Maui Millennium Peace Flame is a gentle, small flame. Especially after the big flames that we had. She represents peace. And the gentle. All that is beautiful. All that is golden shines from within us and you I behold. The word is Yajamil. Yajamil means God is beauty.
ceremony with Donnie and I, she passed over the past few years, she passed, but she passed for her torch, her mantle, onto this beautiful being, spiritual advisor, teacher, who is here to <coughs> share her blessings with us, and uh, I, I asked you to open our anointing and blessing ceremony. So she's going to open the ceremony. I'll just share how this is going to go. And then we're going to ask you to start at the far end of this table where the rose petals are. And we're going to ask you to pick up some of those rose petals and let those rose petals infuse it with whatever you're releasing this year, at this time. Okay, what are you ready to let go of? We're at the end of the solar cycle and we're at truly at a new beginning. So any pain or stories or trauma or anything that you experience, see those rose petals, you're just going to pick them up and then as you're ready, you're going to release them into this golden bowl down here. Do I have my Miss Liberty in the house? Where's my Liberty? My goddaughter. She here. She went to help with us. And then you are going to receive a, a blessing and then Reverend Kadar, and we're going to ask you to take the anointing oils and stand over here. And if, um, um, Fran, can I get you to come up with the cacao? We made this cacao. And Fran, we might need a spoon. Okay. So then Fran will give you, so it'll be one, two, three. 
Okay. ceremonies with her and that was most enjoyable and definitely she's here with us tonight. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. A little bit closer? Okay. All right. So I'm going to blow my poo. The reason why we blow poo in ceremony is because you change the energy. You bring the focus to the ceremony that you're doing and you know in the ancient times who was used, there were no cell phones if you're coming to someone else's island or their house. You don't know if it's okay, what's going on. So you announce yourself, you announce the ceremony, you change the energy of what's going on. And for that, we blow the poop, P-U, long line over it, right? And that's what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna blow my poop. How many of you are familiar with the chant, E-Ho-Mai? I invite you to E-Ho-Mai with me. We all will E-Ho-Mai together. So we'll do that now. I'm a little bit hoarse today, so work with me. <laughs> special prayer in your heart or intention for yourself. What would you like to be particularly blessed at this time and empowered for yourself? What dreams would you like to, intentions would you like to have anointed?
the good to be a sanctuary pure and holy Oh, no, 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 no,
for this divine light transmission, anointing through sacred sound and the sound bath. So make yourself comfortable as we anoint ourselves with the divine light at this holy time of the year. This meditation was given to me by my, one of my spiritual teachers, Reverend Lynn Herod Burgess, from the Church of the Essenes. They say we're all becoming avatars. This is called Avatar Gets Power. That means we're all opening up to our higher level skills, senses, and abilities. And as we open to those abilities, our clairvoyant, clairaudient, their sentient abilities, those who desire to be the change in the world and create community and collaborate and create projects are going to be able to find each other intuitively, more easily. And those who are desiring to create something else in the world will, will be able to see that too and we will be empowered with our choices. So I'm envisioning now a beautiful golden ball of light raising over top your head like a halo of light. Raising from over top your brows to over top your head like a halo of light. This is the location of your avatar spirit gate. And activating your spirit gate aligns you with the divine plan, pattern, and perfection for your life. Envisioning now a golden shaft of light moving down from the spirit gate to the area of your throat, the area of the air gate. And in this area of your throat, envisioning another golden ball of light growing and expanding completely filling your throat with this light. Activating the air gate. Opens and frees our creative self-expression. Supports us in being attentive listeners and clear channel for the divine to express through in exalted ways.
envisioning now the golden shaft of light moving down from your throat to the area of your chest, your heart chakra. And in this area of your chest, envisioning another golden ball of light growing and expanding, completely filling your chest with light. This is the location of your avatar fire gate. Activating your fire gate opens you to beautiful frequencies of divine love.
envisioning now the golden shaft of light moving down from your belly all the way to the area of your feet, the area of the earth gate. And in this area of your feet, envisioning another golden ball of light growing and expanding. Completely enveloping your feet with light. Activating this earth gate grounds your spiritual energy. Gates of power open and activated. Golden white light is spiraling in and through and around you, cocooning you in the citadel of light. And just as a caterpillar undergoes a transformation and metamorphosis. by dissolving, dissolves into a soup-like substance where imaginal cells begin to awaken and stir.
to return from your journey in stir. Bring your awareness back to your breath. Noticing your breath as it goes in and out. Your chest as it rises and falls. Noticing anything you want to make note of from your journey. Ways that you're being called into service, ways that you're being called to activate and give up your gifts. Breathe. 
for the many are truly Oh, 
You know, Heather had mentioned earlier about my mother-in-law, and yes, she passed in the fires, but the thing that I wanted to mention today, you know, my husband, I, he had to go, he has to work really early, but I asked him to cut my tea leaves today from our tea plants, and I said cut three, five, or seven, but he gave me four. <laughs> it's not three, it's not five, it's not seven, it's four. And I sat with that and I thought, okay, what's the symbolism of this? Why? Why four? Why? But then I thought about the Great Pyramids. You know, when you see them, you think they're three-sided, but they're really not. They have a base of four. So I realized, you know, Lahaina, it's also the base, the seat, the heart, the epicenter, really, of Maui from the times of the kings. And now, you would think that it's gone, but it is not. You would think great tragedy happened, and in some ways it did. But if you would allow me, I would love to change your thoughts on that. So, I didn't expect to do this if it's okay. I would like you to close your eyes, and I'm going to take you back to August 8th, Lahaina, when you first heard of the fires, when you first heard of what was going on, and there was so much confusion and fear. But I don't want you to feel that anymore. I want you to feel love. I want you to see, yes, those fires came, and yes, it went over everything, and yes, we lost many. But I want you to see 
the beautiful souls that became angels that day. Envision every single soul that went to heaven and is now looking down on you. They don't want to see you cry. They don't want to see you have sorrow for life. Keep joy in your heart. Keep joy alive. Keep the love of Lahaina alive. When you think of Lahaina, when you see people, and maybe you meet someone who's been affected, as we have all been affected, focus on the joy. If I can leave you with anything today, envision the beautiful angels who left that day. They are still watching over us. Aloha. that from you and to have you here with us and your husband. Consolidate it with all this yummy energy. And into this light, I do invite you to offer your prayers, your intentions, and just speaking out any words that you would like us to plant tonight, to seed at this time, so that in this next coming solar cycle, it will continue to grow and nourish all beings. So what would you have us plant tonight? Muster, love, grace, peace, peace, harmony, joy, joy, unity, unity, trust, aloha, aloha, abundance, gratitude, gratitude. Forgiveness, brilliance, resilience, freedom, contentment, abundance, grace. Responsibility. Responsibility. Healing. Healing. Transformation. Transformation. Organization. Organization.
our humble offering and sing Mama Gaia, take it up in her own time, in her own way as it goes all the way down to the crystalline iron core of the earth and begins to spread out in all directions, completely filling the earth with this unified field of love, these beautiful prayers that we are planting tonight and see it being taken up by the soils and the mineral kingdom and the waters and see it beginning to radiate out from the crust of the earth touching and blessing all beings all flora all fauna all beings on the earth Let's send this little extra to places of strife, of war, of disharmony at this time, to Gaza, to Israel, to Sudan, to the Congo, to Ethiopia. Send this to Russia, the Ukraine, to China, to Myanmar. If there's any other places you would like us to send this to, speak them into the circle. USA. Fortified, uplifted. 
with that, we release this energy. May this or something even greater
Shoshana here sat with us and shared her amazing medicine song. She's been here from Kauai. And Andre. Yes, and Andre. And Attorney Jill and to all of our partners. I know. Fran, Hemina, Liberty, Amada, and all of you that came to share your prayers and share your energy and blessings. We give thanks to our guides. We give thanks to the elementals. We give thanks to the angels, the fairies, our ancestors, 
all of those of highest light who were with us here tonight. With that, we release this energy. Go if you must, stay if you will. The circle is now open, but never broken. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. May the blessings of this holy day season be upon you as we continue to expand all the way into Christmas Day when the light begins to return. Use this time wisely, write down your intentions. Magic is in the air, the universe is conspiring to support us. So, it's for us to invoke, to believe, to embody. Believe and receive. Call it the that we close this with